Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. Let me just start off and say if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Now I'm bringing something um, a little bit different. I usually put um, this guy on my other channel, Building Eternal Value. It is an all spiritual channel and when I say spiritual, I mean things of the Lord Jesus that's spiritual things can be spiritual but they're all not of God okay but he is going to be talking about the danger of ancestor worship a very interesting uh, topic and uh, I'm going to um, put up the disclaimer um, throughout this video so you know just be patient with me um jt wants the truth out um according to the word and i don't think he would try to strike my channel but i do want to be respectful to his content uh because he studies a lot but let's um uh, let's go on and uh, see what jt has to say Danger of ancestor worship. The danger of it. Hear that dude go again, JT. Well hated. I get called everything but a child of the most high God. Now I know I've taught this title alone. A lot of my people and my race are really gonna be mad at this video but once again i'm not scared to stand on no topic and i love you enough to tell you the truth and i pray my prayer in this video is that somebody will come out of it even if it's just one now i know a lot of y'all been waiting on this video because i don't think i've ever done one on ancestor worship like the way i'm about to do it here I think we may have talked about it on a live chat. But to listen at me, you're going to have to put away your feelings. Now, is this wicked ancestor worship? I'm going to answer the question off the top. Yes. It is not of the most high. Now, let's put away your opinions. You've been following something because somebody else told you, right? Or they've been doing it and you never studied for yourself. I'm going to help you out in this video. But I don't care nothing for your opinions about what you feel that is, you know, it's right to do it. You practicing it and you cool with it. I'm here to tell you. Now, it's pretty much witchcraft. And I'm going to hit you with scriptures, but I want to give you a little introduction a little outline before i go into a few scriptures now i keep telling everybody if you are into something you should always want to know what is it where did it come from is it pleasing to the most high did it come from the most high do it go do it go against his commandments hmm. Do the most high y'all approve of it or do mankind accept it and the devil is the God of it? Now, the Bible is clear on not contacting the dead. Now, let's look at this ancestor worship. Just listen at that alone. Worship. The only, only, only one who's supposed to get worship in this life is the most high. Let me just stop it there because uh, in the word it does tell you that he is a jealous God. He is a jealous God. And he is the only one who's supposed to get worship. So JT, you right on point with me. I didn't say praise. Let's break this down. You can praise each other. We praise each other when we, 
you know, you're praising children when they do good in school or whatever the occasion is. But to worship, worship only goes to the most child. You don't supposed to worship nobody else. That's why Satan is so mad. Satan is the god of ancestor worship. Now let's look at what goes on with this. The title of ancestor worship alone should really get your attention because you are worshiping your ancestor. What are you doing? Offering prayers. Who is these prayers going to? Who's the, who's these offering and prayers going to? The spirits of your dead relatives. You can't find nowhere in the Bible where Yah said, worship the dead. You are seeking, teach Holy Spirit, familiar spirits. Now, I ain't gonna lie, ancestor worship is very popular, very popular in, in many cultures. Many have left Christianity that went to Muslims, then converted to ancestor worship. Others have left other religions to go to ancestor worship. Let me stop it there real quick. There is no such thing as your dead ones coming back talking to you and you conversing or they're telling you things you know uh and you're thinking okay the ghost of so and so and so has come back and you know the ghost of this person has come back and has relayed some information that is a familiar spirit demons have been around for a long long time they have studied you they know what you like what you don't like they know your family they know your your loved ones your ancestry they know all that so it's nothing for them to come and disguise themselves as someone who's familiar to you this is what's wrong with religion and traditions of men it leads you down the wrong path it leads you to other spirits Teach Holy Spirit. The Bible say, test the spirits with an S on the end. By the spirit, what is God? What is Yahweh? Yah is spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Did he say those that worship me must also contact the ancestors? What I read in the Old Testament, he said, I'm a jealous God. There should be no other God before me. What are you doing when you're seeking these other spirits? You are putting them in front of the Holy Spirit. Teach Holy Spirit. People who do this believe that, that the, the dead spirits have a huge impact on those who are alive. Oh, one brother was telling me he do it. He said he love it. He said, man, my grandmother is the mediator. Oh, I said, really? Between us who are living in God, I said, really? You know how dangerous that is? But what I do, I tell people the truth and I get out of the way. I know a lot of people are going to hate this video. Go ahead and throw all the thumb downs, the thumb downs right now. I already know it's coming. No, I'm giving you a but thumbs up. But I'm not going to be, you know, uh, what's the word, make you feel good. I'm here to tell you the truth. You are seeking the dead. That's demonic. You are giving them, once again, a... a a invitation. Now, Brother Dale, you asked me in the email, do I visit the grave sites and put flowers on the grave? No. No. I'm only speaking for myself. I know family members that do it, a lot of people that do it. They go out on the birthdays or, you know, with whoever the dead loved one is, they go out there and talk and put flowers on the grave. But for me, no. Let me pause it there real quick. I don't do it either. For one, I know that the, my loved ones who have accepted the Lord and they were believers while they were here, they are not there. They would. Why would you want your spirit to be wandering around in that graveyard? Uh, w to be absent from the body is present with the Lord. They ain't nowhere around that grave site. So I'm with you, JT. That's demonic. These people that's praying to their ancestors, don't you know you only supposed to pray 
to Yah. Man, I, I miss my grandmas too. I, everybody that have passed on, all my older people, I love them, but I don't put them in front of the Holy Spirit. They are not Yah. My ancestors, not one of them, have died on the cross to save my sins. Or some may use the term on a tree, however you want to look at it. I'm not here to argue about that. He died. But the good thing is he rose again. People been doing ancestor worship before Yahshua exists. Do your homework. Do your homework. This has been going on for so long. It existed in ancient Greek. The Romans done it. I'm going to tell you what it's really big at. Chinese and African religions and even the Japanese, even Native American religions. A lot of them have done this, still do it. Now that's my little introduction. Now I want to I wanna go into some scriptures. Actually, we just taught on Luke 16 not too long ago. The rich man and Lazarus. Now, like I say, put away your opinions and all of that, guessing about what's right and what's wrong, and let's look at what Yah say. Now, the Bible teaches you when you die, come on, teach Holy Spirit. Mm, I'm feeling you. When you die, your spirit goes where? To the grave. Somebody going to catch this. Hell. Sheol. Wait a minute before y'all get mad. Listen to what I'm saying. Hell. In the Greek. In the Hebrew. When you look it up. It's the grave. But it's the gulf inside the grave. With two separate parts. The side for the righteous. And of course the side for the unrighteous. Why am I bringing this up? Because when you die, that's where your spirit goes. Some may say soul. Some people think spirit and soul is different. Some people think it's the same. We covered that last video. But if you get around Luke 16 and get around verses 20 to 31, you will see that the rich man and Lazarus, you'll see where their spirits went. Why am I saying that? Because when you die, your spirit is not remaining here with us. Now, somebody going to disagree with that. What do you mean, JT? But it's just like my grandmother. It's just like my mama. It's a familiar spirit. Mm. I spoke about this years ago. A lady emailed me. She said she keep contacting her dead mama. She see her mama in her dream. Mama's talking to me. Mama's in heaven looking down on me. Mama's, no, 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 no. That is a familiar spirit. The familiar spirits, they know exactly what you are looking for. Teach all this spirit. Mm. Then when you get around Hebrews chapter 9, I believe that's around verse 27. It tell you that man is appointed to die once, not twice. And in the judgment. It says man, and as it is appointed that unto men wants to die. But then what? After that is the what? Judgment. judgment. Say it again. That's why I don't teach reincarnation. I don't believe in reincarnation like people be talking about. For me to believe that when they have died, they spirits are here on earth with me, that's not biblical. Now, you know who uses this? Witches. Uh-oh, there we go. Stepping on toes, JT. Mm, the witches. Warlocks. See, Yahshua was, was always the mediator. When, it came, when he came in the flesh, he was the mediator. Moses was a mediator. But when they died, once again, like when Moses died, who's the mediator? Mm. We can say Joshua took over. But once again, 
once again, when you die, you see where you go. People are either worshiping other gods or their ancestors. Now, let's go to Exodus. Let me, let me, let me get Exodus 20. I want us to look at verses 1 through 6. Give me one second. Let me put that back up there. Now, let's look at the type of Yah, the type of God, the most time that we serve. Exodus 21 through 6. And who spake these words? Bible say, and God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God. Who? I. He was referring to himself, the Holy Spirit. He didn't say the ancestors are thy God. He said, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of what? Egypt, out of the house of what? Bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Let's keep reading. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. Uh-oh. Catch that above or beneath. What do they do when they put you in the grave? You're going beneath. You're going underground. All that is in the water under the earth. Uh-oh. See, this cuts out all this ancestor worship. Then he comes back and says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them or serve them. For I, who once again, the most high, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that what hate me mm. and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my what commandments ancestor worship no my commandments i know some of y'all are mad i love you enough to tell you the truth though Telling the truth this is you. witchcraft sorcery magic the spirit of divination, all this stuff. Care cards. The sorceress. The most high hated and destroyed it. Let's get Exodus 22. You better throw them care Which cards away. See why you keep putting all these, these scriptures here? Like, because it goes, ancestor worship goes against the most high's worship. Because you are worshiping your ancestor. I know you don't like the truth, but it's the truth. Exodus 22, verse 18 says, Thou shalt not suffer a what? A witch to live. See, once again, contacting the dead is not of the Most High, but it is of Satan. The Most High shows you this is a, a, an abomination to him. Forget your opinions once again. This ain't about your opinions. Let me give you another one. Leviticus 20 and 6. What does it say? And the soul that turned it mm, after such has have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them. I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. Mm-mm. Israel kept falling into idolatry. Ancestor worship. The golden calf that they was worshiping. When you do that, you are totally going against and rejecting the most high. That's why he just said, and the soul that turned after this is having for me spirits. After wizards. You whoring after them. See, whoring goes way more than a prostitute on the corner whoring her body. Idolatry is whoring. Spiritually whoring. Teach. He said, I set my face against that soul that do that. I cut them off from amongst my people. You claim to be Israel, right? 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 Come on now. Well, why are you an ancestor worship? If you chose them, why are you an ancestor worship? You say you chose, right? Matter of fact, 
let me get verse 7 while I'm looking at Look at Leviticus 20 and 7. Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye what? Holy, for I am the Lord your God. He said, be ye what? Holy. What is holy? Set apart. Sanctify. How many times I say on her, be holy, be set apart. Don't play a part. Be set apart. People going to talk about you, yes. They going to lie on you, yes. They going to hate you, yes. Like Christ said, keep in mind if the world hates you, it hated me first. Sure did. I'm getting hated on for doing this video. But do you think about do you think I care about somebody hating on me? Your blood ain't on my hands. Mm. In the Old Testament, you were killed for doing this type of stuff. Hold on, let me. These scriptures just coming at me. Look at Leviticus 20 and 27. A man. Also, a woman that have a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall what? Surely be put to death. They shall what? Stone them with stones. They blood shall what? Be upon them. Look at this. You got stoned back in the Old Testament for witchcraft, magic, sorcery, Ancestor worship. Most high don't play. Are y'all still sitting up talking about your opinions? Mm. Let me stop it right there and say this real quickly. I'm sure he's got, uh, after this, he got some unsubscribers. Uh, I'll probably get some too. But before you unsubscribe, just listen. Just have an open mind. I can't convert anyone, only the Holy Spirit can so you know don't get in your feelings y'all say put them to death what if right now mm, I'm not wishing nothing bad on nobody trust me but it's just a thought what if right now everybody that's practicing ancestor worship worshiping Santa Claus Worshiping your pastor, worshiping Halloween, and I, what if right now everybody starts dropping dead? Ooh. Mm. We better thank God for grace and mercy. Grace, mercy. It's not of the Most High. Go to Deuteronomy 18, verses 10 and 11. Let's, let's look at that. Thou shalt not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination or an observer, a, a observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer. Pass through the fire means that they were sacrificing their children, burning them. This is why Halloween is so demonic. A lot of y'all may not know that, but I know a lot of y'all do. Halloween, Halloween, excuse me, is the devil's high Sabbath. Amen. It's so demonic. And what's the main thing you see when you walk in the store? Witches, ghosts, people dressing their children up like witches, ghosts. Spiders, bats, all you, you know how it is. Look at verse 12. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God does drive them out from before thee. When you look up abomination, you know what that means? A disgusting thing. In other words, it makes the most high sick. Sad. You can even say grieving the Holy Spirit once again. The Most High warned Israel about doing all this type of worship. See what the devil does, and I'm trying to close now. The devil, the devil bring you these lies to make you think it's okay. He try to paint a picture of it to be pretty, making you think that contacting your ancestors is a good thing, but it's contacting the dead. Let me stop it right there. 
just remember everyone what the devil's job and what his purpose is. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So what he's bringing to you will bring you no good. <laughs> it's against the Holy Spirit. We have to learn who and what the Holy Spirit is. Who and what man is and who and what the devil is. And understand what Yah accepts and what Yah rejects. These are lies. It's not okay to do ancestor excuse me, ancestor worship. It's idolatry. Yes. You can keep burning your sage, burning your incense, doing all this stuff, these rituals. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and your ancestors. People teach their kids this. You know, back in the day, I used to work with a lady that was heavy into this. And she would always come to work telling me how she contacted her grandmother, her, her great uncle, and say they really talking to her. And she started being very demonic even at work. She would be in the coma chatting and stuff. like. And I made sure I, I always got away from her. And she would really try to convince me that those spirits were not wicked and that it was okay to contact the dead. But once again, that's people with their opinions. I gave you scripture. You should know better anyway if you are studying. You should know then better. No, this is not pleasing to the most high. No, this don't come from the most high. It's very demonic. And it's once again, it's often many, many cultures. Even if you get, if you, if you find an older, a, a Muslim, I, I know a lot of Muslims, okay? But then I know a lot of, a lot of them that came out of it. They converted over to Christianity. And some of them left Christianity. But if you can find an old Muslim, talking about maybe one that was brought up in the 50s and 60s, even, I'm going to say borderline 70s, they will tell you at first how they were mad at their parents because their parents, you know, that's what they served. They became Muslims, but they wasn't believing in no type of Holy Spirit at first. They will tell you that if you sit down with one. And I know a lot of them, and one that's close to me now, uh, Minister Robinson, Uncle T told me about why he came out of that and what his daddy was really offering to. Anytime you seeking anybody else, any other object, any other thing that's not the Holy Spirit, you are in idolatry. You are in abominations. Just like this, this, this is December the twenty fifth. You know how many kids are, are, are put Santa? You spell Santa. You look at Santa and, and say it's got the same words in there. But not to get out and all that. You know how many kids thinking that, that that's a it's a it's it's a fat white man coming down the chimney, they getting ready to wait up at night to, to sit cookies out was versus their parents telling them the truth on your mama bought you that, or your daddy bought you that, or your auntie, or whoever bought you that, Santa get the credit. <laughs> And we all know, as I wrap this video up, December the 25th have nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. Thank you. You are not going to read in the Bible. Y'all know I'm going to tell the truth. You're not going to read in the Bible nowhere where Christ is born on the 25th. Thank you. But Satan loves holidays while Yahweh loves holy days. Amen. Think about that. When it comes time of teaching the Passover, what do you teach? Easter. The hmm. resurrection, your so-called version of, of, of putting a, putting our holy set-apart Savior 
on some satanic sexual orgies. Do the research if you think I'm lying. Yeah. Sorry guys, I had to change my battery. Here we go. That's just happy Easter, no. Passover. The blood on the 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 the, the, the thanking the most high of what he done for us. And I'm not saying this to kill your holiday spirit. I tell people all the time, I stay the same all year long. Thank you. Well, JT, you need to get into the holiday spirit. I don't have one. But what I do have is the Holy Spirit. Year round. Your holiday spirit only lasts in December. Maybe fall over into January. Your, your, your Thanksgiving, which we explained that. National Day of Morning. With that being said, as I close out, I pray that everybody that I know that's off into ancestor worship, they come out of it. I pray that you stop contacting the dead. I pray that you quit thinking and believing that's really your mom or your auntie, your daddy, your cousin, your baby brother, your little sister, or whoever that's a familiar spirit. If they dead and gone, it's a familiar spirit. And you wonder why you keep having those demonic dreams. When you contact them and give them an invite, you're gonna be you're gonna be having a hard time trying to get rid of them. And the only way you're gonna get rid of them is with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Ancestor worship is of Satan. Get it? Some of y'all ask me about the ancestry.com. How do you know how accurate it really is? Do you really know? Do you know the information that you're getting is truly the truth? How do you really know when people have been dead and gone for so long? When they didn't, even, they didn't even have a lot of the technology to get what they needed to show proof. Do you believe all the proof that you get from that? I'm not knocking what you do. This question was brought to me also. Be careful out here, y'all. Be careful. Once again, ancestor, ancestor worship you are not going to find that biblically where it's okay to contact the dead and worship them. Because from the beginning, the Holy Spirit showed us he is a jealous God. Some people are making their ancestors their God. Why do you think Yahweh would let Satan get Moses' body when he, when he had to hide Moses' body? Why do you think the Bible say it was a dispute over Moses' body between the devil and, and, and I believe that was Michael, the, the uh, angel? Why was it even a fight? Because if Satan can get any kind of body, any kind of statue, just like you see the Baphomet God, the goat, just like you see all these other little statues and everything now, what did he just say that I just read to you? Do not make any graven images of me. This is why you never supposed to draw a picture of what you thought Christ looked like. Thank what you. What you think y'all look like. Thank you. No markings, no piercings. He said don't do none of that stuff. He was talking to Israel. And what did we do? Falling behind it. Falling behind it. It's wicked. That picture that they call Jesus. No. Nah. He said, don't make no graven images. Well, JT, what about what about wearing a cross? You don't even supposed to do that. When they made the cross and put, supposed to be putting Christ on the cross, most I said, don't do none of that. Don't carve and cut yourself. That's demonic. That's my time, y'all. I done said enough. Hope I prayed and I hope and pray that answer. Your questions, I know a lot of y'all are going to hate it, but once again, I love you enough to tell you the truth. Ancestor worship is a form of witchcraft. It's idolatry. It's all against the most high. Whether you want to hear the truth or not, there it is. I love you. Shalom. Okay. I will leave you right there. I agree with him 
well, close to 100% because I really don't know about Ancestry.com. I think a lot of the information is uh, from death records um, and uh, maybe Ancestry put them in where is, I know when I went on that they asked you for your mother's name father's name and then they connect all that because of i think a lot of records are put into the database so but you know there still could be some question about other information i don't know so i really don't know about that part so i don't want to speak on it like fact i don't know you know all i know that um I have not went on them sites. Not that I'm not curious about, um, you know, who I am as far as who I'm related to back in the day. It's not because of that. I have my questions about it because how will uh, my DNA be used after the fact? Uh, where will they plant some information I don't trust I don't trust all of it so I've kind of hesitated on going forth further with that it may be okay it may be okay I'm not knocking ancestry.com I'm surely not but for me I just need more information I just have to I, I'm not ready to do that and I may not never be ready to to seek certain answers only because I'm nosy I'm curious so anyway guys if you want more from JT uh, just just go into your uh, YouTube search and just put JT and you'll find his channel. And, uh, you know, whether you agree or not, just listen. Have an open mind about it. So uh, thank you guys for joining me again and I will see you next time. Thank you.